I love my smartphone. It's something that I've come to know as an essential part of my everyday life. I text, surf the web, watch YouTube videos, anything you can think of I'm able to do on this 6 by 3 inch hunk of circuits and pure tech. But a piece of tech I surely see dying out is most certainly the tablet market, or what I like to call the hybrid between laptops and smartphones. Or at least what used to be. Let me explain. With the introduction of the iPad in 2010, many of us saw such a pizza tech product as essentially a replacement for the laptop, being it had a myriad of apps and features that were on par with the laptop at a more manageable weight. Shortly after that, Android tablets were coming alive for manufacturers like Samsung, Motorola, and many more. Flash forward to the years since, and the market for tablets has become almost non-existent. Sure, Apple continues to reiterate its iPad for the sake of its continuation, but I see this rather an attempt at ever reviving a dead market. On one hand, people just don't need tablets anymore. With the average screen size of most smartphones today passing the 5 inch mark, they have kind of taken the place of tablets. The iPhone 7 Plus, for instance, comes in at 5.5 inches. Back in the age of the original iPhone, this size would have been laughed at and deemed never to happen. But it did. Take me for example. I never thought my 5.2 inch smartphone would take the place of my iPad for watching videos. To be honest, I just never felt the need to pull out my iPad to watch a quick YouTube video and simply found my phone sufficient. I think I've had my iPad for over 4 years now. Many of you might say I need a refresh, a replacement if you will, but really haven't felt the need to. I use it for the basic of tasks and can't really justify spending $400 to get a new one. This is the biggest problem for companies, the need to invest energy and resources to innovating the tablet space hasn't reaped any profits. Don't get me wrong, Microsoft continues to expand its Surface slash tablet lineup, and so does Apple, but the other tablet manufacturers are beginning to flicker away, their presence essentially becoming non-existent. But there is a new age of hybrid computers combining the beauty of the tablet with the experience of a laptop. Lenovo does this with their yoga laptops. One second is a laptop, and 360 degrees later, it's a tablet, pretty neat. Now I know what you guys are going to say, is the tablet game really dead? Yes and no. Yes being there are tons of industries that are certainly taking advantage of things like the iPad Pro, take architecture and design for instance. For the average consumer, they really don't care about tablets. For them their smartphones has filled in the gap phones and laptops once had. The power to create anything has been placed in a pretty tiny device. I've noticed it too with my eye on tech news and haven't seen that much coverage on tablets in the years since. On that note, I think it's safe to say that tablets are certainly a dying breed.